Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the Hacker Rank Intermediate Certification uh, playlist. And here we are covering the intermediate certification for JavaScript, Node.js, REST APIs, React, Angular, Node, and all these things. Okay. Here in this video, we are talking about REST API intermediate uh, skill certification. So I'm just getting started. I will just do next, 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 and then we should be able to start this okay take test and it should have a couple of questions 90 minute two questions it's a rest api intermediate certification continue and confirm and agree and start okay number of drawn matches football competition winner goals okay these are the the two questions we have we have enough time 90 minutes that means we should read these carefully and we should be able to do this okay first of all football competition winners goal let's do this so the only thing is we need to read this carefully and we need to get the the resulting output okay so in the challenge the rest api contains information about the football competition and the matches the provided api allows querying the competition by name and the year and it also allows querying matches by competition and year the task for a given competition name and year is to get the total number of goals scored by team who won the competition to access the competition perform the http call name and year is the query parameter where the name is the name of the competition and year is the year of the competition this is the mock api returns the data associated with the english premier league of 2014 the response is such a json object that contains the property data which is an area of competition in this case the array will contains only the single item the item has the following five fields something like this next to access the collection of matches played by a given team in a given competition and a year perform get request to this okay here is the competition in the name oh, ta, 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 ta. so this is the team name this is the year so the competition is a uh, this is the competition name and here is this one of the api endpoint can be used to determine the teams uh, this particular team won the competition then another endpoint can be used to find out the total number of goals scored by this team during the competition is 28 which is required answer okay uh, so from the sample input we kind of uh, we are able to get the some kind of output like uh, what oh, what is the thing is the response of the request json object contains the property data which contains area of competition the string denoting the team that has won the competition okay the array will contains only single item and the item has the winner object which is this now we need to access another endpoint passing the team one next to access the collection of matches played by a given team in a given competition year you can hit this here the competition is the name of competition year the team is the name of the team and the page is the the page of the result in the request the the result might be divided into several pages pages are numbered from one from one to n <coughs> The first URL specifies the team one parameter denoting the home team, and while the second URL specifies the team two, the parameter denoting the visiting team. This, in order to get all the matches, you need to re re retrieve the matches where the team was the home team and the visiting team. Okay, for example, a get request returns the data associated with the matches. In the year where the team one was home team on the second page result okay now team two is this
ओके ईच मैच रिकॉर्ड हैज सेवरल फील्ड्स बट इन द टास्क यू विल गेट ओनली फोर रेलेवेंट टीम वन टीम टू टीम वन गोल टीम टू गोल कंप्लीट द फंक्शन गेट विन अ टोटल गोल हैज द फॉलोइंग पैरामीटर स्ट्रिंग कंपटीशन एंड ईयर it's all about uh, playing with the rest api i will say so first of all we are going to make a call to this api call which is saying exios dot get and here is our url https uh, hackerring.com and this is the api football competitions and here we will pass the name name is the, the dollar name and another is the query year We'll just convert it into back ticks. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get the data. This data will contain some information. Not sure like why the data is coming undefined. But if data is there, then only we can proceed further. I'm not sure the task given competition name and year is to get the total number of goals scored by team to access we are hitting this api where the name is the name competition for example get request returns the data associated with the english premier league the response of such request is json contains the property data which is an array of competitions okay if data is there then data dot data will be there and we are going to get the the array will contain the only single item let's say it's data dot data zero okay which has these following properties the winner is a string denoting the team that has won the competition first winner equal to item dot winner so we got the winner team we will use the example of this request we next to access the collection of matches played by a given team so this request okay so it's going to be another request we are going to hit post response it's like another exios get request here api football matches instead of this football matches here we have year and uh, competition equal to competition the first argument is the competition competition and then the year and then there is a team name so there are couple of more argument added team equal to the winner team team equal to winner team and the page okay so let's see first we have to get the pages like how many pages are there and the team team can be uh, two okay competition competition name year team two equal to team team one is a home team and team two is the visiting team we need to hit both the apis to get the total count okay here the competition is the name of competition so competition year and uh, the winner team it's a team one This is going to be a little lengthy problem, I think. Here we will get the response dot data, and we because it's a paginated API, we need to keep making the API call. 
Played by a given team in the given competition here and perform the get request. Competition we already know. Competition equal to competition. Here is here and the team one the page. Okay. These are numbered from one. Notice that above URL are different. The first URL specifies team one. Second URL specifies team two. Okay. So this is a little tricky. Returns the data associated with the match. The team one. Okay. What kind of response you will get? So let's see what do we have here. Console dot log response dot data. We got the data and the data dot data. But I still need to see what response object we are getting from the first API call. The response is such a JSON object that contains the property data, which is an array of competitions. In this case, the array will contain only a single element that has the winner. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm doing right. Item winner team I got. And then, so this is the, the first winner team, right? And then second response object, how it looks like is returns data associated with the matches. Okay. What is the structure of the second response object? Pages for page total. Okay. Okay, so let's do one thing. Uh, let's try to hit this API call and try to get in another tab. Okay, this was the, the competition and the year comes from the first API call. Now the second API call is football matches competition year winner team. Instead of uh, football competition, it is football matches. The name is fine. The year is fine. There is one more parameter we have. Team one equal to this, and this is giving us the data like this. We have pages, the total pages for page ten, and the total pages is one ninety six. And when the team two is, it's team one. Team one and there is a two another call team two. Okay, these are the two API calls we need to hit. When the team one is this, or team two is this, and we have a total pages, and we have to hit the page one, page two, page three calls. Okay. So now we got something close. So the APIs are these. Okay. We have to call the both the APIs and we have to iterate them inside a loop to get the, the total count. And here what we need is, I think from this array object, uh, we need to get uh, the winner goals. Okay. Which is where the team one was home team and the visiting team. That is fine. Each match record has several fields, but in this task we have four relevant. Denoting the total number of goals scored by a so total number of goals. Let's say team one goal, team two goal. I think okay. We need to we need to conquer them if we are passing team one. Then we, then we have to get the team one goals, team two goals. Okay, not a, it's a, it's an easy task, but a little bit lengthy because we also don't know the number of pages we are going to get. So, from the response, we have response dot data dot total pages. So, like let's say this is the first API call. Const pages response dot data dot total pages. 
and we need to just keep passing this total pages is inside a loop let's say const uh, this can be an array so const i of uh, we can do a sync await this is a sync function k is 1 k is less than equal to the other pages and k plus plus okay here what we need to do we need to just make this api call with the page number <coughs> is equal to dollar k okay so what we need to do here is we need to add a variable count is started with zero just move this to the left so we can get more visibility on the code so response dot data here we are making api call team one response okay so team one response dot data we will have data dot inside this data will be an array let's say this is a result so result dot data is an outcome and here from result dot data we need to get the items so for item of outcome outcome dot uh, we need to iterate on the, to the data if uh, okay what we need to do currently we are passing team one right so team one goes we can just simply count it count equal to count count plus team one goes item dot team one goes so this is how we can iterate on to this so this is really lengthy here we are making call to the pages we got the count similarly the same code base same code we logic we have to write for another api call this is the first api where this is the home team this is another api call where we will pass it to the team 2 and we will call it as a response to response to dot data dot total pages pages 2 uh, pages 2 dot length okay sorry pages 2 okay this is inside a loop so we can still keep it and this is a team 2 is a winner team for all the iterations we will get the count count equal to count plus 1 and let's see return the count maybe we will get some warning error or something let's see compilation done your output undefined i'm not understanding uh, understanding why this is undefined maybe some url is wrong or what okay count i declared in this that means it is not even going inside this okay. <coughs>
so let's call it as a response let's say the api response https json mock ekarang.com api football football competitions i can copy this url from here api football competitions name is this the first api call is where we are passing football competitions then we have the name and then there is a year so name equal to this and year equal to this so we should get api response api response dot data at least i should get something from the api response which i'm not getting let's run the code again okay so i got the mother of all the problems wait run the code again now this is fine data is not defined we'll just go one by one now api response dot data so api response dot data dot zero so we will get a result api response dot data i mean we have to do additional data when we are making axios call right now we got the result and you can simply say result dot data zero because this is now the api response which we actually received we'll get the item team number now there should be no repetition of these variables okay so we got the item winner team count zero so I got the response again. This is response dot data dot total pages. That is that should be fine because we are getting from the outside only. So run the code. Assignments to a constant variable. Are we doing it? Okay. So what we can do to get rid of this? Okay, so let's call there are three APIs just to do the naming result one result one dot data. Okay, this is first API call winner team count. This is response is used here only, so we'll call it as a response one response one dot data. We got the the result. Which is inside this block that should be fine. You can also call it as a result two, result two dot data. This can be result three, result three dot data. Okay, now everything is segregated if we talk about the variable namings. assignment to a constant variable now i can don't want to take these things so this is api response we don't need to print it we got the data so this is the actual result we received from that result we are getting the the data as an array result one dot data array so we can print the winner team And then count is zero so we have to convert this into a let that was the one mistake we were doing because we keep assigning this response one exios dot get response one dot data dot total pages you are, this is a number total pages is, should be a number 
so we are iterating phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 getting the total number of items so this is result 2 dot data outcome outcome dot data which is an array item dot total number of rows return this okay this is still a problem okay we are getting this till now here everything is fine we are getting winner team where are we reassigning this okay maybe this one right outcome 2 outcome 2 dot data which variable do we see so this is const item this is const item this is outcome 2 2 dot data this is okay Maybe something is not right. Let's see this. Team one, team one. Okay. Let's try to debug this from the top. <coughs> phase one less than equal to phases two number of pages. So response one dot data dot total pages. So let's say uh, you got the three pages k one. So what is the API call here is okay? I think I got the problem here. We need to talk about team two goals because here. We are passing it as a team two, right? I think the phase counts is being passed properly. Here the team one was the home team, so we are counting team one goals. Here team two was the visiting team. The winner team was the visiting team. So we need to count the team two goals. Okay, looks like uh, my output match. and test case is passed okay that's good i want to copy this code this is really very lengthy so use it for my own purpose okay submit this code okay now we have another problem number of drawn matches okay this looks like similar Okay, we should be able to do it little quickly. Const axios equal to require. Axios and what we are doing is the provided API allows querying matches by team and year. I think looks like I can actually add some code which I copied from the last problem. We can use it if it is needed. Otherwise, we are not talking about that. Okay. To access the collection of matches here, Jason Mock football matches. So we have the API call, I think, football competition and football matches. We can copy a little bit from here. So this is something response one exios dot call here we are passing football matches we are passing year and the page to access the collection of match placed by a given year we can do a get in the year the competition and page so we are getting only the year okay the result might be divided into several pages page till n okay so what we need to do is first we have to make api call football matches we just need to pass only year nothing more than that so what we will do is first we will get the response and we will get the total pages so let's restructure it result equal to So 
we are getting result equal to response dot data you will get the result and here we will get the the total pages let's do it little clean this time from result we will get the total pages okay now what we need to do is we need to iterate on to this whole this whole api by passing the page count right because there are two arguments year and the page returns the data associated with the matches uh, on the second page third page fourth page each match record has a several fields and we need to return i think it's only one api call and we need to just return the the number of drawn matches <coughs> So here we are going to make a for loop and we are going to make the call to this API by passing the count. So let k is 1, k is less than total pages. We can use a for of loop and all these things. Const uh, response. Again we need to make an API call here. And here we can pass the page and the page is the counter k okay so const result equal to response dot data again and here we are getting the array as an outcome right so what we will do is const item of result dot data same as the the last call we have done last check we have done okay the task is to get the number of matches for a given year that ended in a draw a uh, match is drawn when the team one and team two score is equal right so item dot team one goal here we can see team one goals okay <clears throat> equal to item dot team two goals we both are same we just increase the counter so let's say we have a count Initialize to zero, and here we'll just do a count plus plus. Okay, and from this whole method, we need to return the count. Okay, let's see once again. Uh, response: We make the API call. We got the total number of pages, and then we are iterating onto the loop. This can be a for of loop, doing await on, on all our axios. Here we are passing the page from first page count we got the data and we are iterating onto the data array and checking the count okay uh, we should be able to run the code let's see how much we have done require fs what is response takes you equal to require i copied some code from the previous example just to to avoid writing the whole thing and let me exceed it what should I do with this? It's not my problem if time limit is exceeding. Total page is equal to result. We can optimize this a little bit. We can run these things in the panel. Like just because these are nothing but a promises, right? You can just do a loop onto this array and get all the response. So first result response for data, we got the total pages then what we can do is we are running a loop onto that number of pages and then for every count we are passing the page equal to count we are already passing year we just added a one more attribute page so this will give us some data so we got again the result result contains the data which is an array an array contains the items like team one goals equal to team two goals then this is a draw return the counter okay and then submit this 
so this is pretty much like we have for this example uh, what we can do is we can optimize this a little bit that's what I'm thinking like making the API calls parallelly and then doing a promise dot all like uh, simple const promises equal to array and then you keep doing push to this promise like uh, promises dot push and all the await code await execution you can put inside this and then do the promises dot all and then it will give you the all the array response all the items and then this is again a array of all the response so you have to get response one response one by one and do this okay so it's a recurring problem they should be able to execute it and I will try to again submit all the test cases it's a 10 seconds and all the test cases at least a couple of them are passing so looks like uh, we should be good I will submit this I will able to exceed that's not my problem I will submit this okay so this is all about the rest API intermediate level certification this was problem 2 this was problem 1 same kind of APIs we were triggering and this is just a simple JavaScript code to get uh, the number of draws to get how many uh, matches how many goals you have done in a particular year as a home team or a visiting team we just submit these and we are done